Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. My name is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International, bringing you uh, matters of faith on graphic online. I've been looking at the issue of uh, forgiveness, and Jesus made a statement that, and that statement, I must admit, rocked me a little bit. Luke 23, 34. Here is Jesus on the cross. Now, a kangaroo court had tried him, that is a court with unequal hands. You know, a kangaroo court had tried him, Wicked people had sentenced him. They had accused him of what he had not done. And also, they had driven nails through his hands. And not just that, but also on the cross, in pain and screaming, I mean in agony, his body racked with uh, pain, he cries out for, he said, I thirst. And they gave him vinegar and a sponge. Then Jesus looks at all of them with the mockery, the pain and everything that he was going through. And then Jesus said a prayer to, to God. And to be honest with you, I'm not too sure that I have reached that stage yet. Because if I were Jesus on the cross, I would have said a lot of things. God punish you. May God reward you. May God do this. May God do that. Because why are you inflicting this pain, an undeserved pain, upon me? A crime I have not committed. And yet you are treating me this way. My body will be filled with pain. My mind will be filled with anguish. And of course, my tongue and my lips are going to utter judgment and condemnation. But look at what Jesus did. He said a prayer. He said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Oh, wait a minute. Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. What are you saying? That the people who were killing Jesus, they didn't know what they were doing. That the people who went to trial and accused them wrongly didn't know what they were doing. Are you trying to tell me that they were not aware of what they were doing right? The reasons why people do things against you, that hurts. It's number one, out of malice. Number two, out of offense. And number three, out of uh, wickedness, spiritual wickedness. And then number four, out of ignorance. And the Bible says, Jesus said, the, the high priest, those who did it, they did it out of malice and wicked, determined, conscientious effort. Pontius Pilate and Herod knew he was not guilty. So they did it for the sake of preserving, for the sake of profit for them. And the people who were nailing him, I mean, there was malice there. There was all these things there. But yet Jesus summarized everybody's attitude towards him and said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. You know one thing? Sometimes people do what they do against you, they don't know. They, they, they don't have all the facts. They don't even have the mind of God. They don't know what God thinks. And sometimes they do these things out of ignorance. It to bring a resolution to your heart if you can relegate the things that people do wrongly against you to ignorance. Not that they are not aware, they are aware, but it's still ignorant. Why? Because they are not ignorant. They are ignorant of the intentions of God. Why? Because they don't know the plan of God. Why? Because they are serving other people's purposes. So Jesus said, Father, you know, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. Let me just say this. Forgiveness is a decision you make. I am making a decision. Forgive. Why? Because I don't want to carry the load or the burden of unforgiveness around. It is very important for me because forgiveness to err is human and to forgive is divine. And my personal prayer life, when Jesus said, when you pray, say to God, and forgive my trespasses, I would, as I forgive other people's trespasses. So guess what? I don't want God to hold anything against me. So I'll forgive you. It doesn't mean God will not deal with you. He may deal with you. It doesn't mean God will not come visit you. He might. It doesn't mean that uh, the, the seeds you sow, you, you get a crop failure. You may get a crop failure. But I have removed the responsibility of whatever happens to you today or tomorrow or never happens to you. 
I've removed myself from the equation. I'm no longer a factor because I'm dusted and done. I closed the chapter and I moved on. So it is in your interest. Sometimes when you don't have a full grasp of everything and you don't even understand where they're coming from, just say this and make that decision and say, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Sometimes men are ignorant of the purposes of God. So you know what? Forgive and move on. God bless you. See you next time.